Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this brief video I'd like to talk about bindable pickers within the context of Xamarin Forms 2.2. Uh, as you can see here, with this extended picker view, I'm pulling that not from the Xamarin Forms package, but actually from this thing controls over here, which is referencing XMLNS colon controls, and then the xlabs.forms.controls namespace, assembly xlabs.forms. Uh, and what that's referring to is this xlabs.form uh, package, xlabs.forms. And you can, of course, pull that in from the NuGet package manager. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and do that. Tools, NuGet package manager, package manager for solution. Um, and the reason we have to do this is that by default, Xamarin Forms does not have a bindable picker yet. So if you want that function in order to data bind it, then you're going to need to download the um, xlabs.forms, I believe is what you need to look up. It's either that or xlabs.core. xlabs.forms. Yeah, that's what I was looking up before. So it's .forms. You install this, and it gives you a whole bunch of different uh, view elements that you can work cross-platform with Xamarin Forms. One of those is the extended picker, which does have access to uh, view binding. So um, what my pickers here are being bound to is this view model, an instance of my view model within Xamarin Forms. Um, and yeah, it's just uh, using that as the source. Uh, the path value is one of the properties within that view model. The view model does some stuff. If you really want to know, uh, the view model basically takes the value from the import picker and makes a calculation on it. And then with that calculated bonus, it goes over to L strength bonus, um, the name, and uh, basically pulls out the calculated bonus here with a, another binding. Uh, so yeah, uh, with data binding, I'm not going to explain it too much more in depth, but if you did need that functionality inside of a picker element, the xlabs.forms package is a good way to gain that. So that's pretty much it for this video. I uh, hope that helps a few of you out there who may have been looking for that functionality. I've been Chris. Uh, feel free to check out my Patreon, and I'll see you in my future videos.